Hola Yahoo, estamos aquí con John Noble, quien hace el papel de Walter Bishop en la serie Fringe, en la que también aparece Joshua Jackson, que muchos conocen como Pacey de Dawson's Creek. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How does it feel like to know that you're probably the imaginary stepfather, no, father-in-law of millions of people around the world? Or grandfather, huh? No, no, no. Father in law, because you're the, you're the fictional father of Joshua Jackson. It's, it's wonderful when we, when we go out somewhere, all the girls love Joshua. The rest of us don't need to be there. They say, Oh, hi, everyone, Joshua, we love you still. <laughs> Playing a mad scientist on TV, has it taken away some of your personal sanity? No, not at all. Uh, it's, it's been a, a, a great gift. And. Uh, And, you know, playing, playing mental illness is, is a big responsibility, too. So it's been, it's been very challenging, but uh, I've, uh, I, I have just, I've loved every moment of what we've done on Fringe so far. And I'm sure you've made some pretty weird stuff on set, so what's the most weird or disgusting thing they've made you done? do? There was one that nearly made the two women sick, was when we had an actor and we unzipped a body bag and all worms came running out of his stomach. You remember this? And both, on that occasion, both Jessica and Anna said, no, no, that is too gross, we can't handle it. Do you believe in the power of the mind, that you can change actual physical stuff just by thinking about it? I believe it's potentially possible. Everything, everything is an energy, everything, everything. And uh, so I, it's, it's feasible, it's possible that, you know, we talk about uh, people bending spoons. Yes, of course they can. It's, a, it's an energy transmission. Uh, some people have developed the skill more than others. Women are said to be more intuitive than men. Maybe they are. Maybe they have developed that more than we have, you know. Esta me la van a agradecer un poco los fans, los geeks, especialmente los de Star Trek. What was the reaction of the whole crew when you found out you were working with Leonard Nimoy? It was a big surprise and uh, it was when we were waiting to see who William Bell would be, I didn't expect Leonard Nimoy because in the creation in our minds, William Bell was actually just a little bit younger than Walter, which of course Leonard isn't. But can you imagine If someone said the greatest icon of science fiction ever, which he is, was coming to work on your show, you go, you've got to be kidding, this can't be real. And then, of course, he did, and he's a, a delightful man. And, and in the finale, you will see he and I have some really powerful scenes together. It's, and that, that's the end of it. He's retired officially now, too. So the last scene you see of him in Fringe is the last you'll see that he'll make. And I, I shared it with him. It's a great honor. And what can we expect from Fringe in further seasons? Well, we, because we, we've, we've pushed, we keep going faster than we mean to. Now we've exposed both universes, we've met the people from both universes in the finale. We are forced by the final moment of the finale to go back to the other universe. So we will play the life of both universes at least to the first third of season three. It's so challenging. It's so challenging to do, but, you know, it's exciting all of us. We're just almost breathless to get back to work again. Yahoo, hi there. Thanks for watching us and uh, keep it up. We're great fans of Yahoo too, particularly my wife. She gets all her news from Yahoo. <laughs> Hi guys.